JJ. Have you seen that girl over there? She's gorgeous. I've been wanting to talk to her for ages, but I just can't seem to find the right words. Yeah, I've noticed her too. She's definitely something else. JJ, check it out. There's a beautiful flower garden nearby. What if we grab a flower and use it as an icebreaker? That's a brilliant idea, Mikey. A flower is a classic gesture, and it shows we put some thought into approaching her. Hey there. Excuse us for interrupting, but we couldn't help but notice how radiant you look amidst these flowers. We thought you might appreciate this beautiful bloom. Wow! Thanks, but I'm not really interested. I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, no worries at all. We just wanted to say hi and make your day a bit brighter. Maybe another time then. Absolutely. Take care and have a great day. Well, that didn't go as planned. Yeah, she wasn't exactly receptive. But hey, at least we tried, right? Hey, JJ, check it out. That girl we approached just went into that nightclub. Maybe she's more into the nightlife scene. Yeah, looks like she's up for some fun tonight. Maybe this is our chance to catch her in a more relaxed environment. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, did it? It's time to hit the road and head back home. You know, JJ, I can't help but feel a bit disappointed about that girl ditching us for the club. Yeah, it's a bummer for sure. We put ourselves out there, tried to make a connection, and then she just disappears into the nightlife scene. I guess some people are just more into that scene than others. Maybe she's looking for a different kind of excitement. Could be. Or maybe she's just not ready for something serious right now. Who knows what goes on in people's minds? True. We can't take it too personally. It's just part of the dating game, I suppose. Absolutely. We win some, we lose some. But hey, at least we had each other's company and a cool ride home. You know what, JJ? I can't help it, but I'm feeling really torn up about that girl. Hey, it's okay, Mikey. Sometimes emotions hit us hard, especially when we really like someone. But it's just... I don't know, JJ. She seemed different, you know? Like, there was something about her that just drew me in. I need some time to myself. I'm gonna head to my room for a bit. Sure thing, Mikey. Take all the time you need. I'll be here if you need anything. While Mikey takes some time for himself, I can't help but wonder how I can support him through this. Maybe I could plan a fun outing to take his mind off things. Whatever it is, I want Mikey to know that I've got his back and that he doesn't have to go through this alone. I'll give him some space for now, but when he's ready, I'll be right there to lend a listening ear or a shoulder to lean on. That's what friends are for. I've got an idea on how to help Mikey reconnect with that girl, but I'll hold off on telling him for now. Maybe I could discreetly gather some information about her interests or favorite hangout spots. For now, I'll keep my plan under wraps and continue to be there for Mikey as he navigates his feelings. When the time is right, I'll reveal my plan and hopefully bring a smile back to his face. Hey there. I'm looking to buy a laptop and a surveillance camera system. Can you help me out? Of course! We have a great selection of laptops and surveillance cameras. What are you looking for specifically? Here you go, 64 hours. I'll take both the laptop and the surveillance camera system, please. Thank you! Let me ring up your purchase for you. If you have any questions or need assistance with setting up your new devices, feel free to ask. Thank you. Have a great day. Now, time to head to the next store for that potion of shrinking. Welcome, traveler. How may I assist you on this fine day? I'm looking for a potion of shrinking. Do you have any in stock? Take this potion. It is 100% effective. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Have a magical day. Now that Mikey's on my mind, I can't shake the feeling mm. that I need to find out where that girl he likes lives. Maybe Mikey mentioned something about her neighborhood or a landmark near her place. I've got an idea. I'll set up one of the surveillance cameras outside, facing the street. That way, if that girl Mikey likes happens to pass by, I might be able to see where she's heading. Finally back home, time to check out the footage from the surveillance cameras. It's a bit of a gamble, but sometimes you've got to take a chance to help out a friend in need. Here's hoping it pays off. Let's look at the video from the surveillance camera. And is it the same with us? Bingo! Looks like luck is on our side. I've spotted the girl Mikey likes entering a house on the surveillance footage. Now that I know which house she went into, I can discreetly share this information with Mikey. He can decide what he wants to do with it from here. Did you think I would do that? Ha ha, I have a better plan. But first, I need to make sure that this is definitely her house and that she is already asleep. Well, it looks like the girl Mikey likes is having a daytime nap. This might actually work in our favor. With any luck, this could be the chance Mikey's been waiting for to finally talk to her. Here's hoping it all goes smoothly. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa, that's quite the experience. I'm actually tiny now. Okay, 
It's time to implement my brilliant plan. Now I will go into the mind of this TV girl and begin to control her so that she falls in love with Mikey and my friend will never cry for her again. Whoa, looks like this isn't going to be as straightforward as I thought. A whole labyrinth to navigate just to reach the control center? All right, hmm. before I venture into the labyrinth, I better make sure I'm equipped with the right tools. First up, a pickaxe for mining diamonds. Let's see, a wooden handle reinforced with iron. This should do the trick. Perfect. Now I'm ready to tackle the maze and hopefully find some valuable diamonds along the way. First up, I need to craft a pickaxe for mining diamonds. Let's see, wooden sticks for the handle and iron ingots for the mining head. There, perfect. This pickaxe should help me mine through any obstacles I encounter in the labyrinth and hopefully uncover some valuable diamonds along the way. Well, would you look at that? Along with the diamonds, there's a lockpick down here too. That could come in handy for navigating this labyrinth. Who knows what doors I might need to unlock along the way. All right, now that I've got everything I need, it's time to continue my journey through this maze and hopefully reach the control center soon. Finally, the moment of truth. This must be the door that the lockpick is meant to open. All right, let's see if this lockpick does the trick. All right, time to put this lockpick to good use. Let's see if I can figure out the right combination to open this lock. Okay, let's start with the first tumbler. Maybe a little to the left. No, that's not it. Maybe if I adjust the pressure slightly. There! I think I felt something. Yes, that's it. I can feel the tumblers falling into place. Just a bit more. Got it, the lock's open. All right, I've made it to the control center. Now all that's left is to figure out the access code. Let's see. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in this room. I'll need to keep my eyes peeled for anything that might give me a hint. Hmm, nothing obvious here. Maybe there's something hidden in plain sight. Interesting. Looks like there are blocks of different colors scattered across the walls and ceiling. All right, time to crack this safe. Let's see if I can figure out the code. Nope, that didn't work. Maybe it's a more complex code. Let's try something else. Still nothing. This is tougher than I thought. Maybe there's a clue somewhere that I'm missing. It seems like I've been going about this the wrong way. The code must be deciphered based on the colors of the blocks scattered around the room. Let's see. Maybe if I arrange the blocks in a certain order or sequence, it will reveal something. Wait a minute. What if the colors correspond to the digits of a keypad? Orange, pink, blue, yellow. All right, let's enter these colors into the keypad. Whew, that was a close one. But it looks like my hunch paid off in the end. Yes, it worked. The safe is unlocked. Looks like my intuition about the color code was spot on. Now, let's see what's inside. Finally, access granted to the control center. Let's see what secrets this place holds. All right, let's start by checking out the main console. Maybe there's some valuable information stored here. Hmm. Whoa, this is unexpected. It seems like I have control over the consciousness of the girl Mikey likes. This is simply amazing. I'm very glad that everything worked out for me. I'm sure when such a girl invites him on a date, he will be very happy. All right, let's see where she's headed. Looks like she's heading towards Mikey's house. Here we are, Mikey's house. Time to see how he reacts to this unexpected visit. Come on, girl, let's do it. Hi, Mikey, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just wanted to stop by and talk to you. Oh, hey there. No, you're not interrupting anything at all. It's great to see you. What's on your mind? Well, I was wondering if you'd like to go out on a date with me. I've really enjoyed getting to know you, and I'd love the chance to spend more time together. Wow, I... I'm speechless. I'd love to go on a date with you. Great, I'll text you the details. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. Woohoo! I've been dreaming about this moment, and now it's finally here. I feel like I'm walking on air. All right, time to plan the best date ever. Wow, this date is going to be something special. I need to think of something really unique to make it memorable. Maybe we could go stargazing in the countryside. I could set up mm. a cozy blanket and telescope, and we could spend the evening marveling at the stars. Or how about a picnic at a secluded spot by the park? Time to make this date the most amazing experience ever. I'm going to set up a beautiful table in the park. Let's see. I'll need to pick up a cozy picnic blanket. Some cushions for sitting. Hello! I'm looking to buy a few things for a special picnic date in the park. Of course. I'd be happy to assist you. What are you looking for? Oh, I can't forget about the food. I'll grab some delicious sandwiches, fresh fruit, and a bottle of her favorite wine to set the mood. Thank you for your purchase. Have a nice day. All right. Everything's bought and ready to go. 
Now, time to set up the perfect spot in the park for our date. Let's find a nice secluded spot with a beautiful view. Somewhere peaceful and romantic. Now let's arrange the food on the table. Maybe I'll add a little garnish to the sandwiches. Some fresh herbs from the market should do the trick. Time to add the final touches to make this picnic extra special. These chairs should provide a comfortable place for us to relax and enjoy our meal together. All right, time to write a note to her, letting her know about our special picnic date. I'm really looking forward to spending some quality time together and enjoying each other's company. I hope you'll be able to join me. Hey there, I hope this note finds you well. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. I'll be waiting for you with open arms and a heart full of love. Can't wait to spend time with you. All right, time to put this note under her door. I want it to be a surprise, something unexpected. I hope she'll be delighted by this little gesture. I want her to know how much she means to me. I hope she'll smile when she reads it. Huh, what's that noise outside? It sounds like someone's walking around. Is someone there? Hello? Hmm, what's this? A note? I wonder who it's from. Okay, let's see who sent me the note. Oh, there's a photo attached to the note. What could this be? Oh my goodness. This photo, it's the same spot in the park where we had our last date. He wants to spend time with me? That's so sweet of him. He went back to that special place and took this photo just for me. It's so romantic. The park is just around the corner. I can't wait to see the spot Mikey decorated for us. I wonder what surprises Mikey has in store for us today. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. There it is! The same spot! It looks even more beautiful in person. Hey there! I'm glad you made it. Mikey! This place looks incredible. You really went all out. Well, I wanted to make this date extra special for us. I'm so happy you like it. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very glad. One eternity later. Well, I had a wonderful time today. Would you like to come in for a bit? Maybe we could relax in the living room? That sounds lovely, Mikey. Thank you. Well, let's try now and see what happens. You know, I have to say, spending time with you today has been absolutely amazing. You're just so incredible. You're funny, smart, and just so easy to talk to. Oh no, how could I have been so blind? JJ, what have you done? Mikey is all prank. How funny it turned out. 